Hi boys and girls, this is Nick J back from Video Masterclass on YouTube. Now this video is a video response to a question that I, I received on my channel regarding um, using a shower curtain, a white shower curtain, to hang between a 500 watt work lamp or whatever lamp you happen to be using and the subject in order to soften the light and kind of replicate a sort of a soft box for obviously a fraction of the price. Um, most people thought that was a good idea but the question they did have was what about heat, what about fire? Well you know, obviously the proper stuff that they use in the film industry, which is 216 or F1 or F2 or F3, is a thin tracing paper which is actually heat proof. Um, now, obviously the shower curtain does a good job, but it's not heat proof. But here's the thing. If you've got like a 6x6 six six shower curtain hung between, uh, if this is the shower curtain here and I'm sat here now and the camera's over there and I've got a work lamp behind it uh, to create a nice soft light shining through. Now, the way soft light works is that the bigger the source, i.e. the bigger the soft light, uh, the softer the light is. So you know, you don't really want to have your your work lamp uh, about a foot or half a foot from the from the hanging uh, shower curtain because then all you'll get is like a little tiny hot spot here of illuminated shower curtain and the rest will be dark and consequently the light on the subject will be quite hard and shadowy. So going with that with that sort of thinking of the bigger the source you then that basically means that you need to have uh, as much of the shower curtain illuminated as possible and the only way to do that is to have the shower curtain further back so you know I think two and a half feet is pushing it three feet is fine you know so if you work on a you don't really get any closer to it than three feet to two and a half feet um, you're going to be in good stead that's pretty much the distance I tend to have it at. Sometimes I'll have it at four foot back, but I've never ever had a problem with a shower curtain uh, setting on fire because you're not wrapping it around the actual work lamp and the heat from work lamps don't really go out in a straight line. They sort of emulate out in a radiant sort of fashion around the whole head. So, you know, you can test it. You can just to be safe so you feel better, you can take your work lamp out into the garden with an extension lead and then just hold a piece of shower curtain sort of two feet from the lamp, three feet from the lamp for, you know, stretch it between two stakes in the ground or whatever. Um, and then you can see as to whether it's burning or whether it gets hot. Um, the other way you can do is just when you've got your work lamp there, before you put your sheet into place, is just use your hand. Just bring your hand in sort of like a foot from the, um, from the front of the lamp and then just move it back until it feels kind of, your hand feels cold enough that it's not getting too much heat and then you know, right, okay, that's a good distance. Uh, where to put the, sh the shower curtain, I know that it's not going to set on fire because you've given it the hand test. Alright, it's been Nick J. Barrett. I shall see you inside another video. I hope that answers the question.